Ever wonder how fishermen catch millions of salmon? It's a fascinating process that combines age-old techniques with modern technology. It's a question that might surprise you. The sheer scale and efficiency of these operations are mind-boggling. The answer lies in a technique called purse seining. This method involves encircling a large school of fish with a net. It's a method that's been around for centuries, dating back to ancient times when fishermen first discovered its effectiveness. But it's still one of the most effective ways to catch large schools of fish. The net is drawn tight like a drawstring purse, trapping the fish inside. Now, I'm not talking about your grandpa's fishing rod here. This is industrial scale fishing, requiring advanced equipment and skilled crews. We're talking massive nets, big boats, and a whole lot of teamwork. Each member of the crew has a specific role to ensure the operation runs smoothly. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. The physical demands are high and the hours are long, but the rewards are worth it. And the folks who do it are feeding millions. These fishermen play a crucial role in the global food supply chain, providing a vital source of protein. So, let's dive in and see how it's done. From the preparation of the nets to the final haul, every step is a testament to human ingenuity and hard work. Before heading out to sea, the nets must be meticulously prepared and checked for any damage. This ensures that they can withstand the immense pressure of capturing thousands of fish. Once the nets are ready, the vessel sets out, often navigating through rough seas and challenging weather conditions. The crew must be prepared for anything. Modern technology plays a significant role in locating schools of fish. Sonar equipment helps the crew detect large groups of fish beneath the surface. Once a school is located, the crew works in unison to deploy the net, encircling the fish. Precision and timing are crucial to ensure a successful catch. As the net is drawn tight, the fish are trapped inside. The crew then hauls the net back on board, a process that requires strength and coordination. Once on board, the fish are sorted and packed, ready to be transported to markets around the world. This is where the journey from ocean to table begins. It's a demanding job, but the sense of accomplishment is immense. Knowing that their hard work helps feed millions is a reward in itself. So next time you enjoy a delicious salmon meal, remember the incredible effort that went into bringing it to your plate. The world of commercial fishing is a testament to human perseverance and innovation. Imagine a giant underwater curtain. That's essentially what a purse seine net is. It's a huge net, sometimes hundreds of feet long and deep, designed to encircle an entire school of fish. The net hangs vertically in the water, with weights at the bottom and floats at the top. But here's the kicker. There's a drawstring running through the bottom of the net. When pulled, it closes the bottom of the net like a purse, trapping the fish inside. Deploying a purse seine is a carefully choreographed dance, a symphony of movements that requires precision and teamwork between the fishing vessel and a smaller skiff. Each member of the crew has a specific role to play, and their actions must be perfectly timed. First, the fishing vessel locates a school of salmon using sonar technology. This advanced equipment allows them to detect the fish deep beneath the surface, pinpointing their exact location. Once they've found a school, the real action begins. The crew springs into motion, each person knowing exactly what to do next. The skiff peels away from the main vessel, playing out the net in a circle around the school of fish. This maneuver requires skill and coordination, as the net must be deployed evenly to ensure a successful catch. The net's long, sweeping motion traps the salmon within its mesh walls. The fish are surrounded, unable to escape the carefully laid trap. Once the circle is complete, the purse string is pulled tight, effectively closing the trap. This final step is crucial, as it ensures that the fish are securely contained within the net. The crew then works together to haul in the net, a task that requires both strength and coordination. Each member of the team pulls their weight, contributing to the collective effort. As the net is brought closer to the vessel, the glistening bodies of the salmon become visible. The sight is a testament to the crew's hard work and the effectiveness of their technique. Once on deck, the fish are quickly sorted and processed. The crew ensures that each salmon is handled with care, maintaining the quality of the catch. With the catch secured, the vessel heads back to shore. The crew reflects on their successful operation, knowing that their coordinated efforts have paid off. As the sun sets over the ocean, the fishing vessel is silhouetted against the horizon. It's a fitting end to a day of hard work and teamwork, a choreographed dance that has brought in a bountiful catch. Purse signing is effective because salmon are naturally schooling fish. They swim together in massive groups, making them ideal targets for this fishing method. This efficiency allows fishermen to harvest large quantities of fish with minimal effort. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Isn't that overfishing? Well, that's where regulations come in. We'll get to that later. But the point is, purse seining, when done right, allows fishermen to meet the demand for seafood without decimating fish populations. Section 5. The Environmental Tightrope. Balancing Act at Sea. Like any fishing method, purse seining has its environmental impacts. Bycatch, the unintentional catch of non-target species, is a concern. However, the industry has made significant strides in reducing bycatch through modified gear and fishing practices. The key is responsible fishing. Fishermen are working with scientists and conservationists to minimize their impact on the marine environment. They're using selective fishing gear and techniques to target specific species and reduce bycatch. Section 6. Economic Engine Fueling Communities and Industries Purse seining isn't just about catching fish, it's about supporting livelihoods and communities. This industry provides jobs for fishermen, processors, distributors, and countless others along the supply chain. From coastal towns to processing plants, the economic ripple effect of purse seining is undeniable. It's a vital source of income and employment, particularly in rural areas where other industries may be limited. Section 7. Sustainable Seafood the future of purse seining. The future of purse seining depends on sustainability. Fishermen, scientists, and policymakers are working together to ensure that this method continues to provide seafood for generations to come. This involves setting catch limits, implementing fishing seasons, and constantly evaluating the health of fish stocks. It's about finding that balance between economic viability and environmental responsibility. Section 8. Technological Advancements smarter fishing for a healthier ocean technology is playing a crucial role in making purse seining more sustainable advanced sonar systems help fishermen locate schools of fish more precisely reducing the need for extensive searching additionally new net designs and fishing techniques are minimizing bycatch and reducing the impact on the seabed these advancements are paving the way for a more sustainable and environmentally friendly fishing industry section 9 Regulations and stewardship, protecting the resource. Regulations are essential for managing fish stocks and preventing overfishing. Governments and fisheries management organizations set strict rules and quotas to ensure the long-term health of salmon populations. But it's not just about regulations, it's about stewardship. Fishermen are the ones on the water every day, and they have a vested interest in protecting the resource that sustains their livelihoods. Section 10. The Legacy of Purse, Seen Fishing Feeding Generations to Come Purse seen fishing has been a vital part of our food system for centuries. This method, which involves encircling schools of fish with a large net, has allowed communities to harvest the ocean's bounty efficiently and sustainably. From the early days of simple nets cast by hand to the more sophisticated operations we see today, purse seen fishing has evolved, but its core principles remain the same. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our connection to the ocean. The technique showcases our ability to adapt and innovate, ensuring that we can provide for our families and communities. The sight of fishermen working together, casting and hauling nets, is a powerful reminder of our shared heritage and the collective effort required to sustain it. As we move forward, it's crucial that we continue to fish responsibly, using the best available science and technology to ensure that this legacy continues. Modern advancements, such as electronic fish finders and satellite tracking, have revolutionized the way we fish, making it more efficient and less harmful to the environment. These tools help us locate fish populations with precision, reducing bycatch, and ensuring that we target only the species we intend to catch. The future of our oceans, and the livelihoods of those who depend on them, depends on our collective commitment to sustainability. By working together, fishermen, scientists, and policymakers can develop strategies that balance the needs of the present with the health of our marine ecosystems. This collaboration is essential for maintaining fish populations and ensuring that future generations can continue to benefit from the ocean's resources. It's a responsibility we all share. From the fishermen who brave the seas to the consumers who enjoy the fruits of their labor, everyone has a role to play in preserving this vital tradition. By supporting sustainable fishing practices and making informed choices, we can help protect our oceans and ensure that they remain a source of nourishment and livelihood for generations to come. The legacy of purse seine fishing is not just about the past, it's about building a future where the ocean continues to thrive and provide for all.
Ever wondered how American fishermen catch millions of salmon each year? It's a story of grit, determination, and a deep respect for the ocean. It's about long days, tough work, and the satisfaction of bringing food to your table. Let me tell you, it ain't for the faint of heart. These guys are tough, resourceful, and they know the sea like the back of their hands. They battle the elements, navigate treacherous waters, and haul in... The journey begins long before sunrise. Fishermen gather their gear, checking nets, lines, and hooks with practiced hands. These tools are their lifeline, meticulously maintained and ready for the challenges ahead. The air buzzes with anticipation as the crew prepares to meet the day. The boats themselves are a sight to behold. Sturdy vessels, built to withstand the full fury of the sea, they are equipped with powerful engines, sophisticated navigation systems, and cranes capable of hauling in massive nets laden with fish. Stepping onto the deck of one of these boats is like entering another world. The smell of salt air, the sound of the waves crashing against the hull, the anticipation of the hunt. It's exhilarating. Every member of the crew knows their role moving with a practice rhythm honed by years of experience. Once out on the open water, the real work begins. The vast expanse of the sea is both a challenge and an opportunity for these seasoned fishermen. Fishermen deploy a variety of techniques to catch salmon, each method honed over years of practice and tradition. Some use massive seine nets carefully encircling entire schools of fish. These nets are designed to capture large quantities efficiently, but require precision and skill to deploy correctly. Others rely on long lines, miles of baited hooks trailing behind the boat, hoping to lure in a prize catch. This method targets specific species and reduces unwanted bycatch. But it's not as simple as just throwing a net in the water. Timing, location, and technique all play crucial roles in a successful catch. Fishermen rely on a deep understanding of the ocean's currents, water temperatures, and salmon migration patterns to increase their chances of success. This knowledge is passed down through generations and constantly updated with new scientific insights. They use sonar and other electronic equipment to locate schools of fish and constantly adapt their techniques based on the conditions. This technology allows them to fish more efficiently and sustainably. And let's not forget about sustainability. Modern fishermen are acutely aware of the need to protect marine ecosystems. American fishermen are committed to responsible fishing practices that ensure healthy salmon populations for generations to come. They understand that their livelihood depends on the health of the ocean. They adhere to strict quotas, use selective fishing gear to minimize bycatch, and work closely with scientists to monitor fish stocks. This collaboration helps maintain a balance between fishing and conservation, ensuring that the ocean remains a viable resource for future generations. As the nets are hauled aboard, the deck erupts in a flurry of activity. Hundreds, sometimes thousands of silvery salmon thrash about, their scales shimmering in the sunlight. The crew works quickly and efficiently, sorting the catch by size and species, discarding any bycatch that may have been accidentally caught. The emphasis here is on freshness. Every second counts. The sooner the fish are processed, the better the quality. The crew wastes no time in gutting, cleaning, and icing the salmon right there on deck. The air is filled with the sounds of knives working, water splashing, and the salty tang of the sea. It's a scene of controlled chaos, a testament to the skill and experience of these fishermen. They work tirelessly, their movements honed by years of repetition, driven by a passion for their craft, and a commitment to delivering the highest quality product. Section 5. Working against the clock. Once the catch is processed, it's a race against the clock. The fish must be handled quickly and efficiently to ensure they remain fresh and of the highest quality. Every second counts in this high-stakes game of speed and precision. The salmon now packed in ice to preserve their freshness, are transferred from the fishing boats to refrigerated trucks waiting at the docks. These trucks are equipped with state-of-the-art refrigeration systems to keep the fish at the perfect temperature. These trucks are specially designed to maintain the optimal temperature for transporting seafood, ensuring that the salmon arrive at their destination in pristine condition. The temperature controls are monitored constantly to prevent any fluctuations that could compromise the quality of the fish. Logistics play a crucial role in this process. Coordinating the transport of fresh seafood requires precise timing and careful planning. The logistics team works tirelessly to ensure that every delivery is made on time and that the fish remain fresh throughout the journey. Every step of the journey is carefully coordinated from the moment the fish are caught to the time they reach the consumer. This involves a seamless collaboration between fishermen, processors, logistics teams, and delivery drivers. It's a complex operation that requires meticulous planning, efficient transportation networks, and a commitment to quality control. Each team member plays a vital role in ensuring that the fish are handled properly and delivered on time. And it's not just about speed. The quality of the fish must be maintained at every stage. This means handling the fish with care, using the right equipment, and following best practices for processing and packing. Safety and hygiene are paramount. The workers handling the fish are trained to follow strict hygiene protocols to prevent contamination. This includes wearing clean uniforms and gloves, and regularly sanitizing their equipment. The trucks are regularly inspected and sanitized, and the workers handling the fish follow strict hygiene protocols to prevent contamination. 
This ensures that the fish remain safe to eat and of the highest quality. Every precaution is taken to ensure that the salmon is handled with the utmost care and respect from the ocean to your plate. The journey of the fish is a testament to the dedication and hard work of everyone involved in the process, ensuring that you receive the freshest and highest quality seafood possible. Section 6. A Race to Preserve Perfection The journey from the docks to processing facilities is just another leg in this race against time. Upon arrival the salmon are immediately inspected for quality and freshness. Only the highest grade fish make the cut, destined to become culinary delights. Here, the salmon undergo further processing, depending on their intended use. Some are filleted and portioned, ready to be shipped to restaurants and supermarkets. Others are smoked, canned or frozen, extending their shelf life while preserving their flavor. Technology plays a key role in modern fish processing. Automated equipment ensures efficiency and precision, while controlled environments maintain optimal temperatures and hygiene levels. But despite all the advancements the human touch remains essential, ensuring that every piece of salmon meets the highest standards of quality. Section 7. Destination, Your Plate. The final leg of this incredible journey takes the salmon to your local restaurant or supermarket. Sophisticated logistics networks, refrigerated trucks, and carefully controlled temperatures ensure that the fish arrive at their destination as fresh as the day they were caught. Restaurants, particularly those specializing in seafood, take great pride in sourcing the freshest, highest quality ingredients. They understand that the flavor of their dishes depends on the quality of the products they use, and they go to great lengths to build relationships with trusted suppliers who share their commitment to excellence. And let's not forget about the consumer. You play a crucial role in supporting sustainable fishing practices by choosing seafood from responsible sources. Look for labels like Wild Caught, Sustainably Harvested, or certifications from organizations like the Marine Stewardship Council, MSC. Section 8. From Catch to Kitchen, A Chef's Perspective. Now let's step into the kitchen and see how chefs transform this prized catch into culinary masterpieces. For chefs, salmon is a blank canvas, a testament to the bounty of the ocean and an opportunity to showcase their creativity and skill. When I get my hands on a fresh salmon, says Chef Daniel, a renowned seafood chef, I can smell the ocean, feel the texture, and almost taste the flavor before I even begin to cook. He emphasizes the importance of respecting the integrity of the ingredient, allowing its natural flavors to shine through. Chef Daniel believes in simplicity, using minimal ingredients and cooking techniques that enhance, not mask, the delicate flavor of the salmon. A little salt, pepper, maybe a squeeze of lemon, that's all you need to let the fish speak for itself, he says. Section 9. The Magic of Salmon, Versatility on a Plate What makes salmon so special is its versatility. It can be grilled, pan-seared, baked, poached, or even eaten raw as sashimi. Its rich, buttery flavor pairs well with a wide range of flavors, from citrusy notes to earthy herbs and spices. One popular preparation is pan-seared salmon with a crispy skin, achieved by patting the fish dry and cooking it skin side down in a hot pan. The result is a delicate balance of textures, crispy skin, tender flaky flesh, and a burst of flavor with every bite. For a lighter option, try poached salmon with a side of roasted vegetables. Poaching gently cooks the fish in flavorful liquid, resulting in a moist, tender texture. The possibilities are endless, limited only by the chef's imagination. Section 10. A Symphony of Flavors. Elevating Salmon to an Art Form. Chefs like Daniel elevate salmon to an art form, creating dishes that are both visually stunning and bursting with flavor. They take great care in selecting the freshest, highest quality salmon, knowing that the foundation of any great dish starts with the best ingredients. They understand that dining is an experience that engages all the senses, and they carefully consider every element, from the presentation to the aroma to the texture, to create a symphony of flavors. The visual appeal of the dish is just as important as its taste, with each component meticulously arranged to create a feast for the eyes. Imagine a plate adorned with a perfectly cooked salmon filet, its skin glistening with a hint of char. The slight charring adds a depth of flavor, a smoky undertone that enhances the natural richness of the fish. The vibrant pink flesh is moist and flaky, practically melting in your mouth. Each bite reveals layers of delicate flavor, a testament to the chef's skill and attention to detail. A delicate sauce, perhaps a citrus beurre blanc or a creamy dill sauce, complements the fish without overpowering its natural flavor. The sauce is carefully crafted to enhance the salmon, adding a subtle complexity to each bite. Fresh herbs like dill, parsley, or chives add a pop of color and freshness. These herbs not only enhance the visual appeal of the dish but also contribute a burst of fresh, vibrant flavor that elevates the overall taste experience. A squeeze of lemon brightens the dish, while a sprinkle of sea salt enhances the salmon's natural flavors. The acidity of the lemon cuts through the richness of the fish, creating a perfect balance of flavors. Each bite is a celebration of the ocean's bounty, a testament to the hard work of the fishermen, and a tribute to the chef's culinary artistry. The experience of dining on such a meticulously prepared dish is a reminder of the beauty and complexity of nature, and the incredible skill required to transform simple ingredients into a masterpiece. 
Section 11, Respecting the Source, A Legacy of Sustainable Fishing. As you savor that last bite of salmon, take a moment to appreciate the journey it took to get to your plate. From the fishermen who braved the elements to catch it, to the processors who ensured its quality, to the chefs who transformed it into a culinary masterpiece, it's a story of passion, dedication, and a deep respect for the ocean and its resources. By supporting sustainable fishing practices, we can help ensure that future generations can enjoy the deliciousness of wild-caught salmon. So the next time you see salmon on the menu, remember the story behind it, a story of hard work, dedication, and a commitment to preserving the ocean's bounty for generations to come. Ever wonder where that delicious salmon on your plate comes from? It's not just a simple trip from the ocean to your table. There's a whole world behind that filet, a world filled with dedication, hard work, and a deep connection to nature. It's a journey, folks, one that starts long before you pick up a fork. Imagine the early morning hours, when most of us are still asleep. The fishermen are already out there, preparing their boats, checking their gear, and setting out into the vast, unpredictable ocean. We're talking about rough seas, long hours, and the hard work of American fishermen. These men and women face the elements head-on, battling waves and weather that would send most of us running for cover. It's a life of resilience and perseverance. These are the folks who brave brutal conditions to bring this iconic fish from the ocean to your table. Each catch is a testament to their skill and determination. They haul in nets filled with salmon, often working through storms and rough seas to ensure a good catch. Forget fancy restaurants and pristine kitchens. This is about grit and determination. The fishermen don their rain gear and get to work, handling the fish with care and precision. It's a tough job, but someone has to do it, and they do it with pride. It's about understanding the real cost of that salmon fillet. Beyond the price tag at the market, there's the cost of human effort, the toll on the body, and the risks taken every day. The fish are cleaned and packed, ready to be shipped to markets and restaurants. So, grab your rain gear and get ready to dive into the world of American salmon fishing. It's a world where every day is a new challenge, where the sea can be both a friend and a foe. The fishermen navigate through rough waters, always on the lookout for the next big catch. Trust me, it's a wild ride. The excitement of a big catch, the drama of battling the elements, and the satisfaction of a job well done. This is the reality behind that delicious salmon on your plate. So next time you enjoy a bite, remember the journey it took to get there. Imagine millions of salmon, driven by instinct, fighting their way upstream. It's a breathtaking spectacle, a testament to nature's raw power and the circle of life. These aren't your average fish. They're on a mission, returning to their birthplace to spawn the next generation. For fishermen, it's a chance to harvest this bounty responsibly. It's a delicate balance, ensuring the sustainability of the species while providing food for millions. It's about respecting the natural world and understanding our place within it. Meet the Alaskan fishermen, the unsung heroes of the American salmon industry. These men and women are not just workers, they are the lifeblood of a tradition that has been passed down through generations. Their days start before dawn and often end long after the sun has set. They are the backbone of the American salmon industry. They're a different breed, molded by the relentless forces of nature. The Alaskan waters are not forgiving, and neither is the job. Yet these fishermen face the challenges head-on, driven by a love for the sea and a commitment to their craft. Toughened by harsh weather and driven by a love for the sea, they brave the elements with a resilience that is nothing short of remarkable. The storms they face are not just physical, but also mental, testing their endurance and willpower every single day. They work tirelessly, battling fatigue and the elements, often going days without proper rest. The sea is both their adversary and their ally, offering bountiful catches one day and treacherous conditions the next. Yet they persist, driven by a sense of duty and a passion for their work, all to bring in the catch that sustains not just their families but communities far and wide. Each fish they haul in is a testament to their hard work and dedication. The process is grueling, involving hours of sorting, cleaning, and preparing the fish for market. These are the folks who know every knot, every current, every secret the ocean holds. Their knowledge is not just book-learned, but earned through years of experience. They can read the waves and the winds, predicting the best spots to cast their nets. Every secret the ocean holds is a part of their daily life. They discuss fishing spots with the precision of scientists, using maps and their own instincts to guide them. Their expertise is invaluable, making them masters of their trade. 
They're the unsung heroes of the food chain, working together in harmony to ensure a successful catch. Their camaraderie is evident as they celebrate each other's successes and support one another through the tough times. Providing us with a vital source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, their work has a direct impact on our health and well-being. The salmon they catch is not just food, it's a source of essential nutrients that benefit us all. So next time you see Alaskan salmon on the menu, remember the journey it took to get there. From the cold, rough seas of Alaska to your plate, each bite is a testament to the hard work and dedication of these brave fishermen. Take a moment to appreciate the men and women who made it possible. Their sacrifices and hard work ensure that we can enjoy one of the finest delicacies the ocean has to offer. They are the true stewards of the sea, and their legacy is one of resilience, dedication, and an unbreakable bond with the ocean. Gone are the days of reckless overfishing. Today, sustainability is the name of the game. Fishermen use a variety of methods from gill nets to purse scenes, all carefully regulated to minimize environmental impact. It's about taking only what's needed, ensuring healthy fish populations for generations to come. These fishermen understand that their livelihood depends on the health of the ocean. It's a partnership, a delicate dance between man and nature. Section 5. From Ocean to Shore. The Race Against Time. Once caught, the clock is ticking. Freshness is paramount, so the race is on to get the salmon processed and preserved. It's a carefully orchestrated ballet, with every movement designed for speed and efficiency. The fish are sorted, cleaned, and flash frozen right on board, locking in flavor and nutrients. It's a testament to modern technology and the dedication of these hardworking individuals. They know that every second counts when it comes to delivering a quality product. Section 6. Processing Powerhouses where efficiency reigns supreme. On land, the journey continues in massive processing plants. Here, technology and human expertise converge to prepare the salmon for distribution. It's a well-oiled machine, with each step designed for maximum efficiency. The salmon is inspected, graded, and expertly filleted, ensuring only the highest quality reaches your plate. It's a testament to the scale and sophistication of the American food industry. From ocean to table, every detail is considered. Section 7. Flash Freezing. Locking in freshness for the future. One of the keys to preserving the salmon's quality is flash freezing. This rapid freezing process locks in freshness and nutrients, ensuring a delicious product even months later. It's a game changer, allowing us to enjoy salmon year-round. Think about it. That salmon on your plate could have been swimming in the Alaskan waters just days ago. That's the power of flash freezing and the ingenuity of the food industry. Section 8. Salmon's Journey. From Factory to Your Plate. The journey doesn't end at the processing plant. From here the salmon travels by truck and plane, carefully refrigerated every step of the way. It's a testament to the complexity of our modern food supply chain. Whether you're in New York City or Des Moines, you can enjoy the taste of fresh, wild-caught Alaskan salmon. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of our world and the hard work of countless individuals. Section 9. Culinary Craftsmanship. Transforming Salmon into Delicacies. Now comes the fun part. Transforming this humble fish into culinary masterpieces. From simple pan-seared fillets to elaborate sushi rolls, the possibilities are endless. Chefs around the country showcase their creativity, elevating salmon to new heights. Whether you prefer it grilled, baked, or smoked, there's a salmon dish out there for every palate. So, let your taste buds be your guide and explore the world of salmon cuisine. Section 10. A Taste of the Ocean. Savoring the flavor of hard work. So, the next time you sit down to a delicious salmon meal, take a moment to appreciate the journey it took to get there. This isn't just any meal. It's a culmination of countless hours of labor, dedication, and passion. From the early morning hours when fishermen set out to sea, to the intricate processes at the salmon processing plants, every step is crucial. The journey of your salmon starts in the vast, unpredictable ocean, where fishermen brave the elements to bring in their catch. It's a story of hard work, ingenuity, and a deep respect for the natural world. These fishermen often face harsh conditions, from repairing nets in the biting cold to navigating stormy seas. Their resilience and determination are truly commendable. And let's not forget the salmon themselves, swimming upstream in pristine rivers, embodying the spirit of nature's cycle. 
Their journey is as arduous as the fishermen's, battling currents and predators to reach their spawning grounds. It's a testament to the men and women who brave the elements, facing the unpredictable moods of the ocean. Their work is not just a job, it's a way of life, a tradition passed down through generations. To bring us this culinary treasure, they endure long hours and physical strain, yet they do it with pride and a sense of purpose. Each catch is a victory, a reward for their perseverance. Enjoy every bite, knowing you're experiencing the true taste of the ocean. The flavors you savor are a direct result of the hard work and dedication of those who brought it to your table. And hey, if you ever get the chance to thank a fisherman, do it. They deserve all the credit in the world. Their efforts ensure that we can enjoy this delicious, nutritious food. So, the next time you relish a salmon dish, remember the journey it took from the ocean to your plate. Appreciate the hard work, the tradition, and the dedication that made it possible. Savor the flavor of hard work and let it remind you of the incredible journey behind every bite.